So we pair all of our solo cheetah cubs with dogs. We want them to be able to run and play and practice all the necessary behavior. Uh, that's important to every young animal. So humans love to play, gorillas love to play, cheetahs love to play, but we don't want her to do it with us. So we want her to see us as uh, the thing that keeps her safe, providers of food, but not as playmates. And so she sees Remus as her playmate. Remus is a dog that we found at a local shelter. So a lot of our cheetah dog pairs, the dog has been a shelter dog, um, which we think is a great story because we're always promoting uh, shelter adoption. So that's kind of the fun thing about him. It is, it really is. Because I've never heard how that gets done. Yeah. A lot. I think a lot of people just assume that oh, if you have a boy and a girl, the same thing, you come together. But we try to be really selective. Um, it is pretty common for cheetahs to have companion dogs when you have just one cheetah. This is our sixth cheetah dog pair here, but you'll see it at other zoological facilities as well. Um, other places find that the dog helps kind of teach the cheetah as well, uh, just kind of the, the ways of being an ambassador. Also um, to listen um, better to humans when they're really young too, like drinking out of a, a bowl is something that the cheetah can see the dog doing and then they'll attempt it as well. So there's a lot of great behavior that goes on between the cheetah and the dog, but mostly the, the biggest thing is their ability to run and play. Because even if we wanted to play with her, we're just not able to do it the same way that a puppy can. For us, our dog is mostly a playmate. Um, he is a, a little bit of a comfort, just like you're more comfortable if you've got your siblings or your friends with you, if you're doing something new. So a little bit of that, but we really do teach our cheetahs uh, to be confident on their own um, and to trust in their training and to trust us. Um, that's why we're very careful about the places that they go and the situations we put them in. Um, but there is something to be said, you know, a cheetah, they are, somewhat of a nervous animal naturally and so having another animal there does help comfort them we're really hoping that these two will be buddies um, and you know especially if chris hears something in the middle of the night that she's not sure what that sound is she'll turn to remus for comfort yeah we have we have we really have no idea we've had tons of people guess we have you're smacking his face Well, we um, only have supervised play until we can trust that they're going to be good friends. So right now they do have just always under supervision. Um, so they're not left alone together. Someone's always in the building with them. If we do need to leave them for any reason, we do separate them. Um, feeding time is always solo time. So mostly I think Remus would be very interested in eating Chris's raw meat. I don't think Chris has any interest in the kibble whatsoever, but just to avoid any issue, so feeding time is also when they're separated. Um, but we do have, we do have an adult cheetah dog pair. They're about three and a half and they have a lot of alone time together. So we do progress to the stage where they're left alone. Right now they're doing really well. So they're on track to becoming fast friends. Um, and we will let them stay together as long as they're interested in being together. So like I said, we have a cheetah dog pair that are three and a half. Uh, some of our cheetah dog pairs at about a year and a half have decided that they no longer want to be roommates. And um, we've had some that at six years decided they no longer wanted to be roommates. So it's really up to them. We try to give our animals as much opportunity to choose what they are interested in doing and what they're interested in um, 
relationships in space.